Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects tutorial. This is After Effects CS6 and my name is Buddy Blackford. I'll be teaching you today about the different access modes in your custom view. So when you're working with an object, it's going to default on an axis, which is these uh, red, or red, green, and blue. This is your axis right here. And it's going to default on having an axis around your object here that you're clicking on. Well, maybe sometimes you don't want to have the axis based on this uh, object. Maybe you want to have it based on like your view or your or the entire like world, as they would call it. And the world is the entire scene here. So you there's uh, different ways to uh, switch that and they're up here in this panel right to the right of the tools panel you've got your local access mode your world access mode and your view access mode so right now it's on local which means it's on this local object is what it means if i click on world you can see how it changes so this is this is local and now this is world now, based on this world, the z-axis shoots out this way, the x-axis shoots out that way, and the y shoots up. And uh, if I move my camera, you can see how the axes move around depending on how the world is. So I'm moving my, my camera around, but not the actual object. Now if I move the camera around on this guy, it's going to stay with him. So it's always, the axis is always on that image. Then there is the next one called view. Now this is going to be straight on to us, straight up and straight to the right. And if I move it, it's always going to be like that. So it's based on your viewer. So you want to use the viewer pretty much if you want to keep a consistent axis throughout your whole scene. Um, that's probably the least one that I use. The one I use the most is, is, is the local. And then the one I use the next most is the world. And you, if you have a lot of things in your scene and you want to keep things consistent looking, use the world axis and that, that way that will be consistent to your scene. So I'll keep this one this one short. That's pretty much the axis. It's something that you uh, need to know and make sure you use correctly. If you come into a scene and someone has different axes already like chosen in their uh, After Effects uh, project, you want to make sure you look at these first and make sure they're on the one that you want to use or the one that your boss wants you to use. So that's the end of that tutorial. It was a really quick one, but it was a necessary one. And I uh, thank you for watching it and look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you later.